Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I'll be opening a Pokemon Astral Radiance booster box. Um, this is a little hobby I like to do. Um, you know, collect Pokemon cards. Um, it does get a little expensive. That's why I'm not going to be doing videos like these that much. But, um, you know, I just thought like since I ordered this a while back, I can just open it with you guys and whatnot. I think a set comes out like every two or three months now because i know during covid they were coming out with sets like almost every month but um it slowed down the pokemon hype has slowed down so uh, yeah also tell me if the microphone's bad I, I don't know why it's so hard to find a good microphone i've been struggling for that but hopefully this one works a little bit better so yeah also got some scissors because i suck at opening these so i'm gonna try my best to open these there you go i remember what's the trick to um, i think it's i'm not gonna do the whole thing where the what do you do you you take out the first four from the bottom and then you put it in the front so you can like save the best for last I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just, you know, see what I get. Hoping for some good cards. I'm hoping for a few. At least two good cards, you know. So, let's see. So far, I got trash. I don't know if you guys want that. I've seen the YouTubers do it. They give you the code or whatever. So, yeah. Got Nicket, Hippopotas, Cyndaquil, Quillfish, Growlithe, Voltorb. Oh shit! Okay. I got Roxanne. That's one of the cards that I wanted. So I'm gonna keep that on the left. Energy, Gusty Pickaxe, whatever. That was a pretty good card. Shit. Okay, so that's one of the cards I wanted. I was also going for the Dialga Origin and the Palkia Origin, but the. Uh, what is it, the alt? Alternative art, whatever. I want to go for those. Those are pretty cool. And some of the... Another trainer card. It's the girl from Legends Arceus. She, she's like... Well, well, spoiler alert. She's from the Pearl Clan. And uh, I wanted her trainer card too. Yeah. Yeah, so at least that's... um, At least one more good card. Or one card that I want, at least. Hmm. Jesus, man. What do they make these with? I'm not going to be naming every card, by the way. So. You can see the cards that I get. Oh, shit. Okay. A Starmie V... Alternate art with Misty there. Pretty cool. What do you guys think of the new Pokemon games? The Scarlet Violet version? I like that they're gonna go with like a Legends Arceus route with that. I think that's pretty that's pretty neato. I haven't beat in Legends Arceus though. I gotta get on that. So many games have came out all at the same time. I've always wondered that. I always ask my friends like, why do they always come out with a bunch of games at the same time? Ooh, another. It's an alternate art with Phalanx. And what's her name? Bay or Bay? I don't know. Beatty or something? No, I think it's Bay, B A E or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. But yeah, I've always told, I've asked my friends, like, they always take out games, like, around, like, I get it, like, Christmas time, um, all that, whatnot. They're trying to, because, you know, Christmas is the time almost everyone spends money to get gifts and whatnot. I understand that. But, like, why do they take out all the games in Christmas? Because wouldn't that just compete with, like, everyone else? I've never understood that. I remember there's, like, like, right now, what is it, um... 
it's uh, about to be June, and there's no game coming out. So why wouldn't they release a game in June? You get me? Where they have no competition. I've always wondered that. If I was a game developer, I would just be like, hey, why don't we just take out this game in June when no one else is taking out a game? What is this? I don't know what this is. What is that for? Someone answer me that. So, what the? F I've never seen that. This is a pretty cool card, though. Not what I want, but cool card, regardless. Yeah. Rowlet, Oshawa, Scyther, Stander, Yama, Glaceon, Smegas, Energy Card, Perugly, Azov. Damn. Complete trash. One of these packs, it has to be at least one or two more good cards. Travius, Barboach, Ponard, Eevee, Heracross, Mesprit. Okay. That's pretty cool. I think that's a Typhlosion V Full Art. It looks like he's high. Everyone kept saying that in the game, that he looks high. He does look high. Pretty cool, though. I'll take it. A little Take it. Scyther, Stamler, Yama, Hoot, Hoot, Cricketon. Okay. This wasn't one of the cards I wanted, but it's a pretty cool card, regardless. Alistair. Oh, that reminds me. I also want the, the Cynthia with the Garchomp. I like to collect Cynthia cards. So, yeah. I was actually going to get into a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, my friends were telling me. But, uh, I don't know. I was, with that whole new Yu-Gi-Oh game, all my friends tried to convince me to play the Master Duel. I don't know. It's, I've, n I've never really liked to play card games. I've only liked to, like, collect the cards. Dark Patch, I don't know what that is. Weirder. I've always only been, like, the... Because I know there's, like... A few type of people with cards. There's people that collect them and don't play the game. There's people that just play the game and don't collect them. And then there's people that do both. Uh, I've always just been the type to collect the cards, really. Canceling Cologne, Rapidash, Dripland. Yeah, always been the person to collect them. I don't really like playing it. Like, I know the Pokemon card game is, like, super hard to play. Well, not super hard, but you have to, like, use all these energy cards and whatnot. I never understood it. I tried to play it when I was a kid, but I guess I was too stupid to know how to play the game. Radiant Greninja? There's, like, so many Greninja cards. Again, this. I don't know what that is. Someone tell me what that is. Yeah. Another thing from the Yu-Gi-Oh card game I don't like is you have to read all those paragraphs. I'm not saying I can't read. I'm just saying, like, I was making fun of the game with my friends, saying, like, oh, you have to read, like, a whole paragraph per card. I don't like that. I don't like to read overall. That's just me, though. What a bigot I am. Okay, Lilligant. V, full art. I'll take it, though. The fuck my hands all shaky oh no it's not i was like like shaky and shit all nervous <sighs> yeah sorry if i stay quiet for a bit this is my first time doing this i'm literally going in raw to one of these videos I've seen all the other youtubers who they just like talk for minutes 
I don't know how they do that. But I'm trying my best here. Cleavor V. I never really liked this guy. When they showed him in the trailer of Legends Arceus, I was just like, like, I guess that was their big, like, you know, gimmick Pokemon. Like, oh, look, check out this new Pokemon. It didn't really interest in me. He looked mid. Mid AF. Rowlet, Oshawott, Scyther, Stamler, Yama, Bronzor. He's cool. I like this guy. I like the new Regis. They're pretty dope. Oh, shit. If I don't even get the cards that I want, I'm going to just buy them like on eBay or something as cheap as possible or somewhere cheap as possible. It's like it's so hard to get the cards that you want. You'd have to buy a bunch of booster packs or booster boxes and whatnot. Like again, I wasn't going to... This was actually supposed to be my last set. Um, because this shit is like low-key addicting. This is like, like I, I haven't gambled much in my life, and it's not, I don't know, to me, when I've gambled, I didn't really get addicted. I know some people do, but I know some people do, but I don't know, when I gambled, I didn't really get addicted, but this is addicting as hell. It's like... I don't know. I feel like this is what it feels like to be addicted to something. Just you keep buying booster boxes, booster boxes to try to get the card that you want. And I didn't really spend a lot of money in Pokemon cards, but I did spend a good amount. And uh, I told myself this is going to be the last set. But I mean, that's pretty cool. I like the art in that. But I mean... I might just get like one, like I said in the beginning of the video, I think I said that, that I'll get one booster box per set per two months or whatever, as much times as they come out. I'll get one booster box and I'll open it with you guys. Um, just, you know, for fun, for the, for the content. But that's it though. I'm not gonna be buying... ETBs, booster boxes, it's just, it's just too much money. But once every two or three months isn't so bad. That's pretty cool. I like this guy. I like Mr. Rhyme Galarian. I feel like it's better to just buy the cards that you want. Just, oh, you know, if there's three cards you want in the set, just buy those three cards instead of buying a booster box, an ETB, another ETB. It's, it's just it's just crazy. I was going to get that Pokemon Go set. I think it's supposed to come out after it already came out before this. I don't know. I haven't really much been reading Pokemon news. But, oh, shit, hit the camera. My bad. But, um... Thought Stamler, Quillfish, right there. I like this guy, Reggie Lecky. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I was gonna get it, I wasn't. I, I just don't really like Pokemon Go. I never got into that game. All my friends did. God, remember that? And Pokemon Go was like the hugest thing. Jesus. That was crazy. I thought that was going to be like the next Fortnite or something. Oh, shit. Okay. This is the one. This is one of the ones I wanted. All right. This is a dub right here. This looks cool. I've always been more of a Dialga person, but this is... That was a good one. I like that. That was a good booster pack. One more of those, please. And then I'll be happy or satisfied with this booster box. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Pokemon Go. Remember that? Jeez, I, I, I thought 
that was so crazy. Everyone was doing it. Even people who didn't play Pokemon were playing Pokemon Go. That was absurd. What a freaking time. I remember that shit. Like, everyone at my... I've only worked, like, at, I don't know, five different jobs or six. I don't remember. But when that was going on, I was working at one spot. And I worked somewhere else. And everyone, both of those jobs were playing Pokemon Go. That shit was crazy. I felt like I was the only one that I wasn't playing in. But I don't know. I just, it looked cool, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't really, I don't know. Just didn't really catch my interest. The memes were funny though. Glamiao, Swinub, Chaton, Glamiao, Drifloon, Bronzer. I hated this guy in the games. He was such an, I don't know if I can cuss, but he was an ass. So, yeah. I don't know what this is. This is weird. I'm about to look that up. Granados. Yeah. It's crazy. I sometimes wonder myself, like, is Pokemon ever going to die? Like, such a big franchise. I just wonder. trash i don't know like i wonder if fortnite's gonna die is pokemon gonna die like do you think it'll ever lose its it's a uh, flair or it's hype whatever probably will everything usually dies in the end i'm not trying to sound all depressing jesus opening cards here for god's sakes Hood, Cricket Tots, Hoodoo Woodoo, Combi, Drifloon. I've never heard of this guy. Who is this guy? Big yikes. We're halfway, kind of halfway done. That Pocket V Star was a cool pull. I also want the Dark Ray V Star. And the, the Dialga one. That Palkia um, Origin Alto is beautiful. That was one of the... That was one of the best... Probably the best looking card in my opinion. That I've ever seen in my entire life. It was very good. Radiant Heatran? I don't get all that. Magnezone. This guy's cool. Water energy, cancel clone, whatever. Oh, I also want her trainer card, but like the full art one. It's crazy how some of these cards go for. I remember I sold a. Um, I like the evolutions, but I sold the. I like all of them except for like. They're all cool, but the one that I least liked was uh, Umbreon. I'm not really a big fan of Umbreon. I know, I know everyone likes Umbreon, but I wasn't really a big fan of him. Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Voltorb, Lemiao, Mantine, Registeel. Oh shit, dude, this card's dope. Not. But yeah, I, I, I sold a Umbreon VMAX alt from, what was it, Evolving Skies? I sold it for like, jeez, I want to say 300 or 400, I forgot. Probably a little bit over 400, to be honest. I don't remember. But I sold that card. I still have the other ones, all the VMAX alts, but I sold the Umbreon one. And, um... Oh, ah. this is, okay, this card's cool, but I wanted the V-Star, but... This is cool though. I wanted his V star, not the V. I'll take it though. Cool card. But yeah, I sold it. I sold that Umbreon V Max all for like three hundred or four hundred. And I just thought to myself, like, dude, three hundred or four hundred for just like, you know, a cardboard, a little piece of cardboard. That's crazy to me.
Sorry if I messed up, by the way. I know a lot of the professional... How do they do it? They go like this. Oh, that's a little bit better, actually. So you can... So we can get surprised. Oh, shit. Okay. This is cool. I'll take it. Kingdra. With, uh... Shit. I forgot her name. The whole Pokemon community is gonna kill me for forgetting her name. I think it's Claire. I think it's Claire. This guy's weird. You see, I'm evolving. I'm getting better at booster boxes opening. I'm evolving. Shit, we're down to like three, four, five, six. Six more packs. This one counting seven. I just want one more good card. Just one more. Oh shit, let me. It's like professional here, boys. Shit, I'm trying to get the right angle on this crap. There you go. Mm -hmm. okay. Growlithe, he's suing. Don't like this guy. And okay, this is pretty cool. Typhlosion V full ult. Psychic energy, blah blah blah. Wish cash. Temple of Sinnoh. Use string. And code card. What are these code cards used for? Are they for the the online game? I'm assuming. One more card. Nikit Cyndaquil. Growlithe. Cyndaquil. Leafeon. Damn it. Those were all the good cards. I need to finish Legends Arceus. I haven't finished that game at all. Surprised I'm opening these packs with ease. Voltorb, Basculin, Glamiao, shit. Puchiana, Jubilee Village. Oh, shit, okay. Path to the Park. There's one of the. I like the gold. I think there is a Sinnoh, Temple of Sinnoh, but gold or something like that. Something of Sinnoh or Mount Cornet, some shit like that. I wanted that one, but I got this one. Cool card, though. Hopefully, all our luck has not been used. I at least want that... Shit. I at least want that Dark Ray V-Star or Dialga V-Star or Dialga Origin, Pocket Origin. Or that one chick. The Pearl Clan one from Legends Arceus. I forgot her name. But I want that one. Oh, and Gardenia. Yeah, just those cards, that's all. Is that so much to ask? I don't think so. Bergmite. Ponita. Chaton. Bronzor. Barboach. God damn it. No good cards. Fuck. Me. Okay. Oh boy. Three packs left. Shit. I mean, it's not impossible to get one more good card, but... Highly unlikely, yes. Come on, come on, come on, shit man, I think that pocket V-Star was all I'm getting, and the Roxanne,
I can't open this shit. You know, it's funny when the craze, when the Pokemon craze was going on, I would go to stores just to try to get some cards, and they, all the stores were so annoyed of Pokemon nerds. Shit was funny. They'd always say the same thing like, no, they already took them all, or no, we don't have any cards. Some just fell. I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. Eevee, Heracross, Ponard. God damn it. One more pack. Am I going to get something good? Probably not. But uh, I just thought it was funny how... I think Target tweeted last time saying that like, Oh no, we're not going to be selling cards for a while. I think they put some back now, right? They put them back now, but... That shit was funny. Fucking nerds camping out. Like me. I'm a nerd. It's okay. I just thought that was ridiculous. I think I camped out once for one thing. I forgot though. Rufflet, Ponita, Chatot, Bronzor, Ponar. This is it. Okay. Not a card I wanted, but it is a good card. A Rainbow V Star. Okay, I'll take it. Not one of the cards I wanted, but I know that one should be good. At least I think so. Sheldon. Shield on my bad. That's Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. And that's it. That's it. That's the box. There's no more cards. I don't think so. Let me see. No, there's no more cards. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll do another one of these if I don't know if it somehow gets good views. And uh, that's pretty much it. Bye.